Hello guys and welcome to a new video where we are going to be playing another brick in the mall. Now before we get started, I will explain it once we go over the settings. Well, I guess I'll start now. Another brick in the mall is an early access and yes, I will give the warning that this is an early access game. Kind of sim management game uh, about running your own mall. You start with like you can start with a small store and you eventually build up however you want to be. There isn't a whole lot of objectives, and as I said, it is early access. We're gonna start without tutorial. Mild rat infestations. We'll do mild shoplifting. Do I want to do staff needs? We'll do no staff needs for now. Alright, so let's pause. So let's look over. First we have a research screen, which we're not going to make quite yet, because we actually do need a dedicated building for it. Now here you can see how many customers on site, how many parking spots we have. Sale today's sales. That's just the total. Today's profits. To our debt, how much money we have, and our objectives. The objectives are they're kind of a guide to what you should do, or just some challenges that you can do to get some extra money. Now we do have a lot of statistics and stuff. We're not going to use like a lot of it a lot of it you can just tell just from doing it now some of your employees are actually builders so if we go to manage we have a maintenance center we have three builders and they're currently here at eight hour shifts in time for each one of them to be for one of them to be here at a time so we're going to hit build and we're going to first extend our road and we're going to build that out and we're gonna put some customer parking in because before we start getting doing anything we maybe I should have put fast builders on and yeah, whatever I can do it while I'm explaining well, actually it is probably gonna be worth it to hire some more builders they do give you stats for your employees and it does make a difference for the builders however it it's not that necessary. <clears throat> so our current objective is to open a business. Now although we're waiting for that to happen, no reason why we can't work on something else. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to build some foundations. And I'm going to build it out like that. So one thing is they do not spend the money on what you're building until they actually build it. Are they seriously not putting walls there? Hmm. I'll have to manually fix that. Oh, no, wait, no, that's just because I'm stupid. Hold on. There we go. So, yeah, they are working on that. Now that we have two of them working at a time, it is kind of just random how they'll do things. So, actually, I'm going to build another road here. One thing I don't like with roads is it says it can only be built along the existing roads, so you cannot plan anything out. Being an early access game, I can hope that this will that will be fixed. However, also being an early access game, you cannot assume anything. I'm um, gonna yeah, remove the foundation right here. So again, we are just waiting for him to build everything, all the roads built. We do have some in, some parking spots. And now we're just waiting for them to finish that up. However, now we can actually plan for some other stuff. So one thing is, to actually make a store, you need two things. You need the actual store store, and then you need a storage room. For right now, we're going to make our storage room like this. And if we go to objects... Another thing is that the objects uh, like menu is kind of not organized at all. Not even close to being organized. I'm trying to remember the proper way. I guess that should be good to start out with. Uh, we are going to need to put some walls in ourselves. And what we're going to do with this wall is we are going to put in a door and we'll use that as our first bathroom. 
Now, what you want to do in this game is you see how it's kind of like how it shows you where people are going to stand. <clears throat> we kind of want to make it so that people can still move up and down throughout the aisles. Now, we're going to build some shelves here. Boom. And we're going to take this roadwork and we're going to put it. We can only take it so far. Objects. We'll put a staff door here. And we'll assign this as a storage room. And we will assign this as our first store. And let's manage it. Store, let's, we can rename it. Uh, you know what? Let's just name it Tiger Mart. There we go. Tiger Mart is now a town town a town in god damn it, i said it again store in partial function however we need to assign the storage we'll assign it right there we are going to open at eight o'clock in the morning and we're going to go all the way till midnight so before we really open we do need to can i I believe if I yes it's closed right now so we can put everything in so that is now all set storage I believe is functional yes so what we're gonna do first is manage we're gonna go to storage oh wait, no I have to go hire through Tiger Mart we're gonna hire stock clerks stock clerks are the people that are going to put everything on the shelves now the stock clerks I've noted I've I felt most of the time that it doesn't really matter how well they are at the job, just because they're not putting doing anything that you're they're interacting with other people, and they don't really need to be quick most of the time. They just need to get it done. Now we first we also need to assign what should be on the shelves. So we have soda, bottled juice, and we'll put juices. We will also put for food, put canned food, breakfast cereal snacks and some rice and pasta the college student well the college student um, I was gonna say um, triumvirate but college student champion food so we'll put diapers oh I should pause toilet toilet paper pads and tampons Put dishes, cookware, because I do want this to kind of be like a supermarket. Um, you no, know we'll put toys for all the little kiddos. So we're going to manage. We're going to hire a cashier. Here we go. Courtney Burton is going to be. Our, I severely hate this, by the way. Is that every time you do like an action like this, it unpauses the game. So we're going to have everyone come in. They're going to work eight-hour shifts starting at eight. However, because we have multiple cashier lines set up, we're actually going to need multiple cashiers. So we'll just start with two. So if you're at eight, you'll be at 16. And having the eight hour, the 24 hour clock is helpful. We're gonna want people who are better cashiers and preferably if they're speedy and sociable. So we'll head to you there. And that should be enough right now, I believe. Tiger Mart, you are open. You're going to be open for 16 hours? Yes. So they'll be open for 16 hours. Now we'll let that run. However, also what we're going to do is here we're going to build an office. Oh, yeah, we should probably, and Tiger Mar, yes, we'll start having people come. Oh, you know what? I should do one thing. You do want, I've found personally, that you want your store clerks to come in a bit earlier. And it's not because they won't get anything done, because you're, all your staff does come in a bit earlier, I'm pretty sure. Well, we'll see it for sure. Ooh, that's not supposed to be customer parking. What, why you want them to come in earlier is what will happen is if they come in when the store, right when the store is about to open, yeah, they'll be able to do their job, but there won't be anything on the shelves for when people come in. I've also noticed that people park very badly in this game at times. And that's not anything against the game developers, as most of the time the cars are parked right. But I think it's probably just a flavor thing they put in. 
Uh, now for the bathroom. I guess I can just run. I really do dislike how this works. Uh, all you need is toilet cubicles. <gasps> oh, great. To be for me inhaling three, three pieces of pepperoni pizza earlier probably did not help my case. Oh, wait, no, I'm really stupid. You can extend like this. I was just accidentally building customer parking. All right, so yeah, just let that run. This is going to be, first this needs to be set as a restroom, and you are going to be set as an office. We need an office to do research. They don't make any money otherwise. All they do is research stuff for us, and we need an office desk. And right now, all we're gonna do is hire one. We're gonna hire two people to work at the office. I uh, want someone who I probably wouldn't hire for anything else. Yeah, you would be good for office work. 16. And I don't think the office... Yeah, the office is just always active when there's people there. Why are my store clerks not coming in? Hmm. Why are they not working? Tiger Mart has the store clerks. Was it just too late in the day? Just so you know, we also have like no money now. So we're going to wait a bit, wait a bit, wait a bit. Hopefully at 6, one of them should come. We'll come to work in two hours. You guys aren't actually supposed to be here at the same time. So you have 14. Most of the time we actually only need one. Oh, wait. Now I know. Duh. I never set up a delivery zone. You do need a loading zone for... To actually get stuff delivered for your store to sell. There we go. Now we should actually start having customers come in. Yep, here we go. Who is it? Here we have Neil Bennett. He is buying, it looks like some pasta. Our first customer. There you go. Our store clerks are starting to fill everything up. And we are going to have people start coming in to buy. Got them right where we want them. Now, since we do have an office worker, we are going to be we are researching research basics already. And I am actually going to get more food shelves. As for the most part, that's what we have to sell right now. Stuff that would fit on these shelves. What did I assign you to? Or I guess they didn't load it yet. New objective. Yes, yeah, so as we keep finishing these objectives, we will start getting more and more stuff. And we will be able to just fill out all these shelves here with the stuff we want on them. Coffee and tea and pet food. We will unlock more stuff over time. Now you can put duplicates, but I'm just not going to right now. Uh, we need to build. Oh, yeah. Woo, we missed quite a few sales opportunities. But I'll tell you what. We will extend the road there. We'll extend it here too. We'll build a whole line of customer parking. All right, new research. We're going to go for cold chain because that's, yeah, we're going to want cold chain so we can get refrigerated food. And we are open till midnight. You tend not to get very many p people coming at that time. I think eventually we want it to be 24 hours. But that's just not going to happen quite yet. And there we go. So we should have more people coming in tomorrow. We will begin to have enough parking spots for them. So yeah, store clerk. I think our... Our storage may be a bit too big, but whatever. They're coming in, they're in there getting the job done. Cashiers are in. 
Now, I will only hire a new cashier when we start realizing that people are getting mad and leaving. If people are in line for too long, what will happen is they'll get mad and they'll just leave. They won't pay for or anything. But right now our queues are getting a bit long. They're not bad yet. You know, I think I will hire another cashier anyway. So I'll hire a cashier. Are any of you actually good at the job? You know what? You have speed and you're sociable. I'll set you to 16. You don't have any speed, so you're not becoming that. And there you go. You're good. Uh, need 500 total sales. Research is going along. So if we look... Oh yeah, someone's definitely going to start getting mad soon. Uh, especially with how long... Yep. Here, so if you saw, which I stopped and stopped in time, someone here will get mad. Key yeah, accused field, people are just leaving. I also think there's people leaving without paying. I do have minor shoplifting involved, so people do want restaurants. Ah, oh, yes, you can see people are getting red and mad. If that happens, they'll just leave. Luckily though, I do think we averted disaster for a bit, so we don't have any restaurants right now. However, that's gonna be fine. I'm actually going to build more checkout counters. Uh, I'm not going to build it... Actually, yeah, I will do it all the way there. Actually, yeah, I can just extend it that far. See, so people are coming in, and... They're getting serviced. You know, we might even need another set of cashiers. You're not sociable at all, but whatever. I'd rather you be fast than nice to people. I just sound like an actual like store manager right there. I don't care how nice you are to everyone else. I just want you to be fast and get your job done. Yep, so we're going to be closing up for the night. Our research is 54% of the way done. And you know, while this is going on, let us build some more roads. So there, there. You want to kind of leave like these two gaps so that you can fit them in like this. I guess it really doesn't matter how you do it. I just like it because it looks better. So we can't make any restaurants yet. We will eventually. You know, it'll probably make it like right here or right there. And I can hear... I'm in my basement right now. I can hear my cats running upstairs. That's how fast the little buggers are running. Oh yeah, no one's really having to wait in line at all. This is wonderful. This is the ideal situation right here. Did I mean to do that? I probably did. Oh wait, I forgot. Um, people do show up like an hour early to their job, so you'll have like an hour where you're gonna have like extra pe extra workers here. Don't worry. It's it's supposed to happen. Five hundred total sales. Yeah, as we keep getting our bonuses from that. So we will run a while with having no profit. But as more and more people start coming that profit will start going up, up, up. Oh, we're almost done. We might as well build all of these now, just so we can have them ready for when we actually unlock the stuff for it. We could put uh, beverages in it, but we're not going to do that because we already have beverages. I don't think any of them care if if um if it's frozen or not. We'll get alcohol license. People really like buying alcohol. And there is a reason I put the gap here. 
food, milk, dairy, fresh meat, and fresh fish. People really like part of this coffee and tea. And let's get more coffee and tea put on there. And what is this? Cookies. People do have weaknesses to certain stuff. Like he, this person is a weak stomach, so they're they might throw up. Brickadick can't resist brick-based toys. And this person is a former guard, former builder, neat freak. Can't Piscivore can't resist fresh fish. So this person is looking for fish. However, even if they come here looking, oh here we go. This person's looking for fish, but they also like MP3 players and CDs. What will happen is in a case like that, if I put these, if they walk by them, they'll try and get them. I know we don't even have a janitor here at all. Here, you're gonna work. That should be good. Ooh, I just had to crack my neck there. Yeah, people are leaving because they're hungry. Our store clerks are doing their jobs pretty well. And look at that. We are turning a profit. And I actually am so happy with that we're turning a profit. I am going to hire another set of clerks for Tiger Mart. You're going to be a good cashier if I need you. And I guess I, as long as there's someone in it before 8 o'clock, that'll be good. We have our research going well. Now actually what I'm going to do is office, hire office worker. You're just gonna work the graveyard shift. But do we want to set any of these for something else? Now one thing that, that is important is that you see these shelves. Now all of this is gonna be perfectly fine. However, I actually go to build table and I'll place down some of these tables you, I can place fresh fruits fresh vegetables and fresh bread now it's important that these sell because if they don't they will actually start going bad and generally you can't leave them out more than a day So it says expire. Actually, I guess I'm just completely. Well, actually, I guess it varies. The fruits and vegetables last a lot longer. But yeah, but the bread lasts pretty much just one day. People are leaving because there's no restaurants. What I could do. Oh, we have quite the customer backlog. You know what? That's good. We'll hire you, cashier. You start at 8. And you start at that. Yeah, I need I need speed for my cashiers. I have three more open slots. Well, I would like them to be oops, not so quick. Well, I would like them to be kind of social. It's not key. There you go. I don't care about your patience. Go. Yeah, people are leaving because the queues are full. There we go. Now with having full queues, people are going through much more. And we're about to make profit yet again. If we can just keep going to this line and make profit and making not, then as soon as I get to the point where I'm not just constantly expanding, it means that we're going to be making money. You know what? We're actually going to hire another janitor. Sure. And you can start then. Uh, build... Garbage pickup. And I'm actually going to remove this road work. We're going to build a road that goes up here. And we're going to make this staff. I guess it doesn't matter. You don't really need staff only parking that much. It's just if you want it to. Uh, frozen food supplier. Now. What I'm about to do 
is morally evil. So everyone that walks in is going to walk in here. Beer, wine, and liquor. There are people who have the trait like former alcoholic. So they're going to walk by here and they're just going to buy it. There we go, Tiger Mart is going good. It's hard to tell how much we're really selling because the store clerks are um, filling everything up. I guess it won't tell me something specific. Whatever. Anyway guys, we're going to end it here. Oh, we're making plenty of money. So guys, I hope you enjoy enjoy this video I really like this game it's fun it's relaxing you know you can get pretty in-depth with it now I will leave the link to this game on Steam in the description and I'll leave a link to the subreddit this game is early access my personal rule with early access games if I consider getting them is that in the current condition of the game is the game worth its price now many of you may be asking me how much is this game well, if you give me one sec, as I Google it on my laptop, I believe it's $12. $13. For $13, I think this game is 100% worth it. It came out in... Its initial release was in November, on November 3rd of 2016. At least that's what Steam tells me. I think the game is worth 13 bucks. You know what? In its current condition, I say it's worth it. Now, do you think it's worth it? That's for you to decide, not me. And hopefully through watching these videos, you can decide whether or not you want it or not. Because I have a lot of fun with this, and I think if you guys like simulation games, strategy games, you guys will like it too. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, remember to like, favorite, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys all next time. Peace!